in Delaware, we stayed at the largest commercial aquaponics greenhouse in Delaware. They specialize in growing leafy greens without soil in water using tilapia fish to fertilize the water. We did buy some lettuce and the tilapia that we bought was great. As you can see here, Molly loved the animals. We just happened on this band at the restaurant we ate at that evening. Our next stop was the Pocono Mountains, where we spent a week exploring all that they had to offer. Gray Towers was built in 1886 by James Pinchot. It was the summer home that they used for many years. In 1963, one of the relatives donated it to the USDA Forest Service and on September 24, 1963, President John F. Kennedy dedicated the site to the American public. Boulder Field at Hickory Run State Park is quite likely one of the most unusual and interesting sites that we've seen in our trips. It is a relic of the last ice age when there were saber-toothed cats roaming the earth and the cold climate transformed this area. It covers more than 16 acres. It measures about 400 feet by 1800 feet and is 10 to 12 feet deep in some places. The boulders are an average of 4 feet wide, but some are as long as 25 feet.
On one of the days, we went to Steamtown in Scranton, Pennsylvania. There will be a separate video coming out, so be sure to watch for that. In Connecticut, we stayed at March Farms and had a great view of a swimming pond. We ended this part of our trip in Rhode Island where we stayed at a Harley Davidson dealership. A lot of motorcycles during the day, but we had a quiet night and were able to visit Narragansett the next day as well as the state capitol. Here we're heading to Massachusetts, so stay tuned. <music>